1990, I met a woman who uh, had multiple sclerosis, and she wanted to perform on stage in her wheelchair, um, and invited, uh, and I invited her to be part of the creative process. So we performed that trio, the first integrated dance piece at the New World School of the Arts in 1990. And so since that time, which has been 20 years, we've been working uh, with dancers with and without disabilities and integrating them into this, uh, it's called mixed ability dance form. Ten years ago, I saw a, a flyer for a workshop and uh, I went and took the workshop and said, oh man, this fits. And uh, been dancing with her ever since. So you need to go back to the floor and then I had, you know, no knowledge before of it and I saw, you know, John in the chair moving and he was so gorgeous and the things that he was creating, uh, I was even thinking to myself, gosh, I would have never thought of that and he's expanded and the entire company has expanded my knowledge of you know what dance is and how we dance. To, uh, to be a dancer is the furthest thing from my mind ever. I never would have dreamt that I would be doing such a thing. But uh, that's kind of the exciting part of it. To learn what my body is capable of doing, it's, uh, it's actually perfect. Uh, you, you'd never think that a quadriplegic could say that it's, uh, to be a dancer is a perfect job, but it really is because I'm always looking to get my body moving more. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to dance. And my, my parents and they looked at me and said, you're crazy, you know, how are you going to do that? You know, I said, watch me, I'll do it one day. When I'm performing on stage, that's the only time that I feel free and happy because people don't judge me. People judge me for what I can do on stage rather than what I can do. It's a lesson to, to us because we always so careful and so uh, cautious of, of their bodies. And then she, she looks at me and she goes, what's wrong with you? You know, I'm okay. I'm strong. And I say, okay. You are. <laughs> one of the dances that really hits me is the one when a knee carries March off the wheelchair because at that point you see how strong we are regardless again because March has to hold on to her it's not only a knee carrying her March has to be strong enough to hold on to to her and when they're in the floor you can't tell if one person has a disability or not so that strength of, again, of, of life, holding on and, and trusting each other, to carry each other, <laughs> because that's what we do, don't we? We, we? we carry each other through life. Um, I think a lot of audience members come in with um, not knowing what to expect, but they always leave moved in a certain way with the consciousness raised and, um, usually uh, with, the, with the thought that, hey, wow, I, I never thought that an individual in a wheelchair who has a disability could be so included in the, in the dance form. You know, we tell a story out there with just movement. It's pretty hard to tell a story with just body movement, especially with a paralyzed body. You know, a paralyzed person, you usually think of, okay, well, great, we get a computer, you can sit in front of a computer, and that's, that kills you. To, to, purposely not move your body just makes it everything worse but to try to find something that forces you to move is just perfect. One thing I'm always struggling to achieve is high quality choreography, high quality presentation, high quality performance. When when the performance is going well and it, it's I'm, I don't feel anything. It's just you let the music take over and the performance take over and it, it's just motor memory. I often think that it would be neat if it would be possible to totally leave your body and actually go watch from outside. And you get to almost that state where you could almost do that. I can't see myself doing anything else. I mean, if I am, I 
see more change with dance than almost any other therapies I've ever tried. So that's why I stuck with it and I keep trying. I, someday I hope to dance my way right out of this chair. For more information about Karen Peterson Dancers, log on to KarenPetersonDancers.org. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.